Well, we're back down here in the basement today. And don't think I didn't see those comments on the other videos saying, oh, as soon as I heard this guy speak, I say check the basement for bodies. No body hunting today, we're not looking at any bodies. What we are doing is sectioning off a portion of the basement, about 12 to 15 feet into a grow room using some panda film, black and white, whatever you want to call it. The bathroom grow op right now is on quarantine. We've got some pepper plants that brought in some aphids, don't really want to talk about it. So yeah, let's see what we can do. All right, so what we're working with here today, about 10 foot roll by 100 feet of the black and white panda film. We have the white Gorilla Tape. I splurged the extra bucks, got the white one. And uh, we're gonna put this on right where we're gonna make our staple attachment to the wall. It's supposed to help with not ripping the film. Got the Vivo Sun zipper. It's an adhesive zipper that attaches right onto your film and gives us a doorway. I love it. And then quality Mastercraft stapler. It's gonna be good. Measuring tape and some scissors. Let's get cutting. I start by unrolling the roll of panda film onto the floor. I've already measured the length of the wall, so it should make it easy enough for me to then measure the length I need and make a cut. We're a little bit short on length, so I used my foot to kick the roll. It gave me a few extra inches. I attach small pieces of tape to my glasses. It makes it easy for me to grab the tape so I can staple it to the wall. Installing the panda film can be quite hard if you're doing it solo. It's easiest to measure the wall then cut out the amount of panda film you're looking to use. Start at one end and try to keep it tight as you staple along. If you have access to a friend, that would work a lot better. Unfortunately, I don't have many friends. If you notice, I'm working my way around the corner slowly, making sure I keep the panda film nice and taut. I had to stop to add more tape to my glasses. Typically I can put six to eight pieces of tape onto my glasses before my vision becomes impaired. I find it best to hold the staple gun between my legs as I'm holding up the panda film. Sometimes I'll put the staple gun into the elastic band on my underwear. It makes a good holster. You'll notice it looks a bit loose and messy towards the bottom of the wall. But if you look at the top, I'm trying to keep it nice and tight. That's the important part. We can work out the crinkles at the bottom later. So 
So after we attach it all up on top of the wall, making sure it's tight as we go along, we're gonna to wanna to go back to the beginning and pull it tight down at the bottoms and straighten everything out and add a staple in the bottom if needed. Okay, so I think that's looking pretty good. I fold it over the bottom there where it overlaps onto the ground. And I may come back later on and uh, trim that up when we do the floor. But I think for right now, that's looking pretty good. Even though my arms and legs are quite long, my torso is a little bit short, so I need to stand on a five gallon pail in order to reach the upper edges. You may not have this issue. I had a discussion back and forth in my head for a little while, whether or not it would be a good idea to block out the windows in the basement. But then I agreed with myself, in conclusion it would be a good idea to keep the light out and stop anyone from looking in. During the build process, I figured out a way to quickly measure the right amount of material needed for the wall without using a tape measure, simply by rolling out the material to the desired length, then making a cut. It's simple and quick. The support beam makes a good fastening point. Sometimes the bucket can get a little shaky, but I rarely fall. The final wall was somewhat challenging, as it is the longest wall, and doing this solo didn't help. There weren't very many fastening points, so it took me a while, but I got it.
You can see here I'm a little bit perplexed. The staple isn't fastening into the drop ceiling as planned. I'm looking for fastening points. Alright, so I got the final wall up. Kind of a pain because there's no wall there. I was trying to avoid using a, building a little wall. So I think it looks pretty decent. I'm gonna put that Gorilla Tape up there to uh, block some of the light out. It was a pain because I couldn't attach it to the uh, that drop ceiling there with the staples. So what I had to do was actually um, tape it and then tape it to the uh, part of the ceiling. So. Add some tape up there, finish some of these corners with uh, some tape, just to make it look a little neater. And then uh, we'll add the door and maybe a floor, probably a floor. All right, so not the most ideal, a little loose here, but I mean, we're gonna work with what we have. So let's throw the zipper on and then uh, might be able to tighten things up a little later. The adhesive zipper installation is quite nice if you only remove some of the backing and then apply and remove at the same time working your way down. After the zipper is installed, unzip it, then use a sharp knife to cut your entrance hole. My knife was a little dull. Okay, so it's looking pretty good. Here's the door. I'm gonna leave this uh, tarp on the bottom loose right now because as I start adding things in here, I'll probably put some plywood down to give it more of a firm surface to walk on. Um, ventilation system, I'll need to get up here. On the other side there is the exhaust vent for the bathroom. So I'll tee in there. It's already getting a little hot in here when the uh, furnace kicks on so I can block off the intake vent there uh, yeah it's gonna be a bit of an experiment and then once I get the exhaust in we'll decide if we're gonna cover up the ceiling maybe maybe not might be a good idea and uh, did a little bit of a bonehead mistake a little bit of a silly Billy I forgot to uh, I forgot to mark out where the electrical outlets are, but it's easy enough. I can feel it right there, so I'm gonna cut those out, or at least one or two for now, and continue on. I decided to tape around the outlet. I think it gives it a smart looking finish, although not required. I'm hoping it also keeps in some of the humidity from reaching that wall. Hmm. All right, so I think that's everything for this video. I'm gonna research what ventilation fan to get and then uh, I'll be back maybe, probably, who knows.